Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Gaming Network. I'm Gen X, and today I'm going to show you guys how to modify sounds in Krunker. If this video helps you out at all, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm live gaming on Twitch Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern playing Krunker if you guys would like to come hang out with me. All right, let's show you all how to do this. All right, the first thing that you guys are going to do is go to livegamingnetwork.net slash downloads. Link is in the description below. Once you're on this page right here, go ahead and click this guy right here. Your download should start automatically if it doesn't and Mediafire pops up. Go ahead and wait a couple seconds until a new download key is generated and then just click the download button. Depending on how fast your internet is, this might have taken a couple minutes. Once your download is done, go ahead and click this folder to show in folder and drag your mod.zip to your desktop. Once that's done, go ahead and close out both of these windows. And when you're on your desktop, go ahead and right click, go to new, select folder, type new mod, and move your mod.zip into your new mod folder. Now open the new mod folder, right click on the zip file, go down to WinZip and extract to here. If you do not have WinZip, the link will be in the description below. You can get a free demo at that website. Depending on how fast your processor is, this might take a couple minutes. Once that's done unzipping, go ahead and delete everything except for the sound and textures folder. We're gonna delete the textures folder later, but for now we're gonna keep it around just for reference. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. If you open up the sound folder, you will see inside there is listed every single sound file in the game Crunker. You can modify and change every single one of these sounds. At the bottom of the list, you'll see all of the weapon sounds, and you'll see that some of the weapons have multiple sounds. The first weapon sound of each category is the default weapon. So weapon 1.mp3, weapon 2.mp3, weapon 3.mp3. Those are all the default weapons. Now we're gonna go back into the new mod folder and I'm gonna show you why we kept the textures folder. Go ahead, double click on textures and open up the weapons folder and you will see that all of the weapon icons are listed at the top of the page. This key will indicate which weapon is which number. So sniper is weapon number one, AK weapon number two, and so on. So when you're modifying the sounds and you don't know which weapon number is which, you can always come back to this page to match the number to the weapon sound. Now the question comes, where do I get my sounds from? Well, I get all my sounds from sounds-resource.com. The link will be in the description below. Soundresource.com has almost every single sound pack for every single video game ever made. All you have to do is go to the search engine up top and type a game. For this video, we're gonna take a couple sounds from a Halo pack and add them into Krunker. So we're gonna type Halo at the top, click enter or click search. As you can see, all of the Halo games ever made are listed here. Once you have located the game that you want, go ahead and click it. It will bring you to another page and list all of the sound packs that are available for this game. We are going to download all of the weapon sounds for Halo. So we're gonna click weapons. Once on this page, go ahead and download this sound. Your download should immediately start up top. Once it's done, go ahead and click show in folder. Drag your sound zip to your desktop. Close everything out. Once on your desktop, go ahead and drag your zip file into your new mod folder. Open your new mod folder. Right click on the zip pack, WinZip, extract to here. Again, if you do not have WinZip, go ahead and go to winzip.com. The link is in the description below. You can get a free demo. Once you're done unzipping your sound pack, go ahead and open the folder and you will see all of the sounds listed for that specific category of the game that you selected. In this video, I'm only going to modify one sound. If I was to modify all of the sounds, this video would take like two hours long. So what we're going to do is modify the sound of the sniper rifle. Once you've located the sound that you want, go ahead and drag it to your desktop and go back to your new mod folder. Open up your sound folder. Make sure that your file extensions are showing that it says .mp3 at the end of every sound. If it does not say this, go ahead and go to view and make sure that you check this box for file name extensions. Once you've done that, go ahead and locate the sound that you're going to replace. Like I said, we're going to be replacing the sound of the default sniper. 
which is weapon underscore one dot mp3. Once you've located the sound you want to replace, go ahead and rename your new sound to that exact same sound name. Go ahead and right click the new sound, rename, like I said in this case, weapon underscore one dot mp3. When you click enter, it's going to tell you that you have changed a file name extension. Go ahead and click yes. And then just drag your new sound into the folder and click replace the file in destination. When you are done modifying sounds, go ahead and delete all of the sounds that you did not modify. So I should only have my one sound that I changed inside my sound folder. If you've changed five sounds, you should have five files in here. If you've changed 10 sounds, you should have 10 files in here. Delete everything that you did not modify. Then go back into your new mod folder, delete the textures folder, right click on the sound folder, Go to WinZip, add to sound.zip. I like to name it new mod just so I know which zip file is which. At this time, your mod is ready to load into the game. Go ahead and start up Crunker. Once in the game, go ahead and click on mods, upload mod. Once you're in the hub, go ahead and select the thumbnail that you've created. If you didn't create a thumbnail, that's okay. You do not have to create a thumbnail for your mod. After that, click select next to mod file. Go into your new mod folder and locate your new mod.zip that you just created. Give it a new name. Click publish. Depending on how big your mod is, it might take a couple seconds for that green check mark to come up. Be patient. Once you see that green check mark, go ahead and close out the hub. Click mods, go to my mods. You should see your newly created mod. Go ahead and click the play button to load it. If done correctly, you should have your new sound in the game. And that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to modify sounds in Crunker. If this video helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future content. Y'all have a great day. And remember, don't be toxic, spread positivity.